today, I want to welcome you to the countdown to celebrate. This is a kickoff for the March 2023 Senior Nutrition Program celebration. My, my name is Katherine Tucker. I am a Senior Nutrition Consultant for the Office of Nutrition Health Promotion Programs, or ONHPP, at the, at the Administration for Community Living, also known as ACL. And as you know, each January, we introduce our plans for the upcoming Senior Nutrition Program Celebration, which takes place annually during March to mark the anniversary of the program's creation under the Older Americans Act in 1972. We hope you find this preview event helpful for jumpstarting your celebrations for, the, for your plans in March. Next slide. So here's a look at today's agenda. First, Carrie Lipperini, the Director of the Office of Nutrition Health Promotion Programs, will set the stage for providing a quick history of ACL Senior Nutrition Program and a look back at the program at 2022. After that, ACL's Nutrition Aging Resource Center will share their 2022 updates. And then I'll take some time and review our partner engagements over the past year. And finally, I will introduce our plans for the Senior Nutrition Program celebration, including events, activities, and resources to help you and your program celebrate along with us in March. At the end of the presentation, we'll wrap up with an opportunity for some questions. Next slide. So we, before we get started, I'd like to provide a bit more background on our speakers today. As I mentioned, Carrie Lipperini is the Director of the Office of Nutrition Health Promotion Programs, a role she's held since joining ACL in 2017. She has over 20 years of experience developing programs in the government and nonprofit sectors. Carrie is passionate about supporting our country's older adults and making sure that they're nourished both physically and mentally. Erin Hoisington is the content director for ACL's Nutrition Aging Resource Center and is a role she's held since November 2021. She's also a registered and licensed dietitian nutritionist. And again, I'm Katherine Tucker. I'm also a registered and licensed dietitian with 25 years of experience in nutrition and aging. And I've been with ACL's ONHPP since September of 2021. So now it's a time to dive in. Before we get into our plans for the Senior Nutrition Program Celebration, let's take a look back. And as Maya Angelou once said, you can't really know where you're going until you know where you've been. So Carrie, I'm gonna hand it off to you. Go ahead and move to the next slide. Carrie, the floor is all yours. Thank you, Catherine. And hello, everyone. I'm just so excited to be able to kick off this webinar today and to get us ready for celebrating yet another year, an amazing population of people. So yes, that's right. It's hard to believe, but the Senior Nutrition Program is yet another year older. And as always, we've been working very hard to make sure that you and your programs have the right tools to celebrate with us again during the month of March. So again, Catherine is going to tell you a little bit more about what's in store for, for March and the Senior Nutrition Program celebration. But I want to start with a brief history of the Senior Nutrition Program. Then I'm going to take you back and take a look at what we accomplished for 2022, including the successful 50th anniversary of the program. So next slide, please. So again, as we talk about the history of the Senior Nutrition Program, we must start with the Older Americans Act. So in 1965, the Older Americans Act was the first federal level initiative aimed at providing comprehensive services for older adults. While nutrition services was not initially intended in the act, in 1969, Congress held the first White House Conference on Food, Nutrition and Health marking a new national focus on senior nutrition. The Older Americans Act was amended to include funding for 24 senior nutrition demonstration projects to take place across the country. The success of these models projects led Congress to officially add the Senior Nutrition Program to the Older Americans Act in 1972. The Senior Nutrition Program brought in a new era of federal commitment to ensure food security for our nation's seniors. So again, thanks to the emphasis on the nutrition in the act, generations of seniors who otherwise would have gone hungry can receive healthy meals. And as you know, it's not just about filling empty stomachs. 
enhancing food security has been associated with overall better health and wellness outcomes. And of course, none of this is new to you. You've been filling this mission for years. Still, it's important to remember how we started, especially as we take some time to look at our many, many accomplishments 50 years later in 2022. So now that we've looked back, next slide, 50 years after the creation of the Senior Nutrition Program, ACL and our Nutrition Network have experienced some amazing changes. We kicked off 2022 by celebrating the milestone of those 50 years, the anniversary in style. You had an amazing event, engaged with each other across the network and developed, uh, developed wonderful resources to help promote and improve our programs. Resources that can be used for many years to come. As you likely remember, the theme for the 50th was celebrate, innovate, educate. We took the theme to heart and used it to inspire our efforts throughout the year. And so how did we do that? Under celebrate, as I mentioned, we had the beautiful celebration in March of 2022 to highlight 50 years of the Senior Nutrition Program, over half a century of making a difference in the lives of seniors at our local communities. <laughs> We also took the celebrations to social media, where our many dedicated partners helped promoting the program and its impact on the communities across the country. The social preference, preference brought much needed attention to the senior nutrition program and has continued to do so. The US Special Committees on Aging recognized the significance of 50 years of the first national nutrition program for older adults in the area of innovate. One of the things that we're proud of is its innovation shown by our network. In 2022, we highlighted this by hosting a virtual panel discussion on the dietary guidelines for Americans, sharing innovative models and in service delivery like restaurant partnerships, as well as insights on the Older Americans Act built in flexibility to help programs to better serve the unique needs of their communities. We also began phase one of our nutrition innovation research agenda. It's the first step of our larger research initiative focus on older nutrition, older adult nutrition, which will include an inventory of data collective efforts, a literature review, and interviews with stakeholders. Find findings will allow ONHPP to construct an initial draft for long term research agenda that will guide research and data collection activities. The final research agenda will aim to increase support of our programs and improve our network's ability to demonstrate program impact through data and evaluation. And we can't forget to mention innovations without talking about our ACL innovation and nutrition program and service grantees. In 22, ACL continued to support and encourage innovation nutrition innovation senior nutrition programs within our network through this grant program. You will find more information about these grantees and their projects on acl.gov. In the area of educate, to further educate the public about the senior nutrition program, we strengthened partnerships engagements during 2022. One example of our partnership is with Social Security Administration to raise awareness of our programs and services along with, with audience via a guest blog in their SSA Matters blog by sharing social media graphics for SSA to use and for providing a poster style image shown in local Social Security offices across the country. We also developed several new resources to support programs and address the needs of our network. These include two webinar series, which I'll tell you more about. The first was a four part series focused on food insecurity. Topics included collaboration with community based organizations, promising practices for states, 
identifying food insecurity for older adults at intervention, intervention and referrals. The second was powering up your congregate meal programs. That provided guidance to the network on increasing participation in congregate meal sites. In the first two webinars, presenters shared tips on recruiting and retaining participants. And coming soon, the third webinar, in just a few weeks, we'll focus on recruiting and retaining male participants to congregate sites. There's so much more I'd like to include in this look back, but we have so much more to share with you today. So I'm gonna pass the torch to Erin to see how this Nutrition and Aging Resource Center embraced the theme, Celebrate, Innovate, Educate over the past year. Thank you, Carrie. Excuse me, this past year has certainly been exciting. The Resource Center has seen some amazing changes over the past year. We were involved with the Senior Nutrition Program Celebration by sharing amazing news, resources, and opportunities about and with the Aging Nutrition Network. In fact, during just the first 10 months of 2022, the Nutrition and Aging Resource Center's social media presence reached just over 103,000 duplicated individuals through video views, website visits, newsletters, and social media reach. These numbers, as well as others, are showcased in our year one communications report. The Nutrition and Aging Resource Center supports and provides technical assistance to ACL's Innovations in Nutrition Programs and Services, or NU, grantees. This year, we celebrated by hosting the first ever NU Grantee Conference. Grantees gathered in Des Moines, Iowa to learn about how to tell their story best and to network with and learn from each other. We innovated by creating an NU Grantee Capstone Report. This report helps to summarize the findings of these innovation programs so that other programs across the nation can learn from their experience, wisdom, and resources. And perhaps my current favorite innovation is our updated website. We have worked tirelessly to improve the website for all of you so that you can find the resources you need when you need them, and we're not done yet. And finally, we found ways to educate including. Along with our partners at Iowa State University, we hosted a webinar series that focused on ageism. This topic rose to the top even among those who work in the aging nutrition space when we reviewed the results of our needs assessment. This needs assessment looked at the attitudes and beliefs of those who completed it, as well as their desires for resource topics and formats. This helped educate us so that we could develop resources for 2023 and beyond we can ensure that these are effective and efficient for users working in the Nutrition and Aging Network. In 2022, we have also been able to educate senior nutrition programs and NU grantees with updated technical assistance resources to help build the capacity of the Aging Nutrition Network. Next slide, please. As you can probably tell, a lot is happening at the Nutrition and Aging Resource Center. As I mentioned before, our redesigned website has recently launched and I couldn't be more pleased. Our new website makes it easier to find the resources you need based on the topic area. Whether you are looking for congregate or home delivered meal program resources, nutrition education, or resources for emergency planning, we have it. Check out our new browse resources section at acl.gov forward slash senior dash nutrition. Next slide. Once you click on Browse Resources, you can choose between the topics you see here, which include business management, congregate and home delivered meals and more. And as exciting as this piece is, there's even more to come from our website. In the coming months, we will also add a section with resources about the Older Americans Act and Nutrition Program Basics, an Innovations in Nutrition page to highlight examples of and resources for innovation, and a series of online interactive learning modules for Aging Nutrition Network staff and volunteers offered at no cost to you, called Instructional Campus on Aging Nutrition, or ICANN. I want to continue this conversation by passing the presentation over to Katherine Tucker to finish up our look back so she can transition to a very important look forward. 
Thank you, Carrie and Aaron. Wow, what a year it's been for the Senior Nutrition Program. Moving on, I want to briefly talk about our partner engagement efforts this past year because I think they really highlight the important work that goes on behind the scenes. We collaborated with federal entities during 2022 to improve awareness about the Senior Nutrition Program and grow our reach. We had the opportunity to work with the Food Drug Administration regarding the sodium reduction guidance to provide technical assistance to help align older adult nutrition programs with the FDA's voluntary sodium targets. We discussed earlier, we partnered with the Social Security Administration to market the Senior Nutrition Program and volunteer recruitment. We've also provided guidance and comments on the upcoming dietary guidelines updates. Internally, we partnered with ACL Center of Integrated Programs, which supports the development of effective federal policies and programs for the aging network. We inventoried best practices within the aging network that can effectively address food insecurity and their social determinants of health. These are just a few examples of how we are committed to continuing to engage with our network partners at the federal, state, and local levels. But one more exciting thing that happened in 2022 that did not include ACL's involvement is the Community Preventative Service Task Force Systematic Review. They are an independent non-federal panel of public health and prevention experts who provide evidence-based recommendations and findings on programs to protect and improve population health. This task force conducted a systematic review of 20 studies, and it recommended home-delivered meals and congregate meal services to reduce malnutrition among older adults living independently. Now, although we are well aware of the importance of our programs, it's great to see that being recognized and our successes being shared at a wider audience. Next slide. As you can see, the Senior Nutrition Program had a very busy 2022 and working as always to better serve older adults in communities across the country. And I'm sure you're wondering what's in store for 2023. Well, here's a look forward. And as Aaron mentioned, the Nutrition Aging Resource Center has redesigned their website and there'll be more to come. We also mentioned the upcoming third webinar series for the Power Up of power up your congregate meal program on the topics of recruiting men to your congregate meal site. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. That'll be coming in a few weeks. We will also be introducing an exciting new endeavor called Recipes for Success. It's a series of short informal tip videos designed to highlight steps to success and available resources in a viewer friendly bite size format. The YouTube series will begin soon and we'll look forward to sharing that with you. We are hosting a Senior Nutrition Program Solutions Forum. It started this month, gathering partners and other stakeholders to tackle issues identified during listening sessions from the White House Conference on Hunger, Nutrition, and Health and the Older Americans Act Regulation Review. This is an effort for us to show you that your voices were heard. We took the comments generated by our network and will now use them to define areas of focus, identifying needed resources and improve how those resources are shared out. Our research agenda mentioned by Carrie will also continue to be re refined more in 2023. And of course, while we are all here today, we will celebrate another year of an amazing program during our Senior Nutrition Program celebration in March. Next slide. So we always love to start with a fun game or trivia. So I am going to, if you'll move on to the next slide, I will pull this up. Uh, okay, so this, I, will, I want you to put this in the chat because it looks like the poll question switch. What food was introduced in 1972? Was it the Hostess Pudding Pie, McDonald's, McDonald's Egg McMuffin, Chips Ahoy, Big Mac? Um, and we've got the wrong poll, but go ahead and answer. Have you celebrated this senior nutrition program? This is not the right poll. Sorry. Okay. We're going, let me end that. So just put this in the chat. What food was introduced in 1972? Was it the Hostess Pudding Pie, the McDonald's Egg McMuffin, Chips Ahoy, or Big Mac? And we'll kind of look at the chat and kind of see what you all are saying. We've, we've got them everywhere. Yes. Okay. So, boy, 
Well, I do see a lot of bees. The answer is in 1972, the McDonald's Egg McMuffin breakfast sandwich was created by Herb Peterson. So now we also have a name to that food product. So yeah, okay, good deal. Let me close the chat back out. Now move on to the next slide. So today I have the pleasure of briefing everyone on everything we have planned for our Senior Nutrition Program celebration this March. The celebration isn't complete without a theme and logo. And as you can see, the 2023 theme is Cooking Up Community. It pairs one of the most prominent elements of the Senior Nutrition Program, food, with one of its most important aspects, community. And through our national program, local providers serve, build, and better their communities through meals, social connections, educational programming, and so much more. And we want you to join in, join us in promoting and celebrating that work by keeping this theme in mind. And don't forget to download this year's logo to use in your promotional materials. We've also made this evergreen. So we have logos that doesn't that do not include the theme or the year. So you can put that on banners and fact sheets and you don't have to replace that each year. Next slide. We've developed a celebration webpage where you can find all the information and resources related to the celebration every year, not just in 2023. Think about it as your one stop shop and it will be there for you to look back at. So on this webpage, you'll find the celebration logos in various formats for print, online information and for this year's theme. You'll have grab and go quotes from our leadership that you can use as talking points. An event section where we'll post the recording of today's webinar as well as information about upcoming events. And other digital assets like web buttons, banners, social media profile graphics. We will also be cooking up an online community and we will provide social graphics to help you share your story, successes, ideas through social media, and last year, you were the true heroes in helping us to increase the awareness for the Senior Nutrition Program. Your online presence was nothing short of amazing. And as we head into 2023, I encourage you not to lose that momentum. Promotion is important year round, but we're hoping that you will help us to create a swell of engagement during March. Use the hashtag Senior Nutrition Program and tell us and everyone about your program and how you're celebrating and your thoughts, like what you think is a hot topic in nutrition right now. And we have more coming to the website soon. The Nutrition Aging Resource Center is creating a social media toolkit with messaging and graphics that your program can use in your own social media channels. We'll post sample articles and news releases to help you spread the word about your program and activities. And you can submit these pieces to your local newspaper and or even your own newsletter. A community proclamation template will provide more formal declaration of your celebrations this March. And don't miss our, our activity ideas, tip sheets, and more. You can use your suggestions or make up your own ideas to create fun events for your program participants, volunteers, and your community. Also, be on the lookout for Carrie Lipperini's blog during our celebration month. So next page. So visit our webpage, it's at acl.gov forward slash SMP forward slash celebrate. We basically call our celebration page. I've included the screenshot of the celebration page here and you'll know you're in the right place when you see that celebration banner and that will continue. And then next year we'll just be changing what the theme and the date is. So this will, this we're hoping this will be a continued resource for you. Next slide. ACL also has been holding, we, we will also be holding a special event, the March Senior Nutrition Program Celebration Webinar, which will take place Wednesday, March 22nd from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. During this event, we invite all of our network members to celebrate with us and let us celebrate you. So we have a dy dynamic event planned for you to enjoy and no celebration is complete without you. So be sure to mark your calendars and stay tuned to the celebration The webs on the website for any updates. The registration should be coming soon and there'll be more information as well. So now what are you planning? And um, just 
nutrition program celebration ideas? Are you doing cake and ice cream, guest speakers, virtual party, social media, proclamation, something else? If you're planning something else, please share that in the chat. And um, But just tell us in the chat what you are planning for March. What are you looking forward to? So we have a mixture of social media tools, articles, social media. That's great. Um, proclamation. Wonderful. And so I'm reading out the responses. So making your own pizza day. That's a great idea. Returning to in-person guest speakers. Social media chef demonstrations at local restaurants, guest speakers, social media events, food demos with our registered dietitian, having speakers involved. These are some great ideas. Getting guest speakers, of course, um, is a very popular popular topic. Thank you. Vendor resource fair. What a great way is having some taste testing and letting them try some different foods or and having vendors come in with different products for them to look at and different resources available. Thank you for those. Community connection events. Wonderful. Okay, continue to put those in the chat and then we will have that included. It'll be available. If um, So if you'll move on to the next slide. To wrap up, I'd li like to suggest these five easy steps. Bookmark the celebration webpage, acl.gov forward slash SMP forward slash celebrate and check back often in the coming weeks. We'll add more resources and hope you'll use them as you develop your March activities. This page will also remain available all year so you can always come back. Register for the March, 20, the March 22nd celebration webinar and then you want to celebrate the senior nutrition program in March. Use the hashtag Senior Nutrition Program to share your celebration on social media and follow at ACLGov and at Aging Nutrition. So with those steps, I want to thank you for the opportunity to provide a preview of the Senior Nutrition Program celebration today. And now we can open up for questions. If you want to move to the next slide, I encourage you to put any questions in the Q&A section. I'll read the questions and um, one of us will answer. If we don't get to all the questions today, because we only have a couple of minutes left, we will definitely answer your questions. We'll send them back to you. But my email is katherine.tucker at acl.hhs.gov, and you can send them send me questions as well. So looking at the questions, um, we have any? Do we have... I don't see any questions right now that we have available. If you have any questions, we still have a couple of minutes. I'll be happy to answer those. Okay, I think we have some in the chat. Um, are there any state celebrations <clears throat> you are aware of? So if um, if anybody has information on state, you can email those to me and I can always share those out. Um, will any of us be, a, be available for virtual speaking events? Um, you can definitely send those requests to me. I can forward those to Carrie and uh, and the Resource Center, and we can see what we can do. And when do you think all resources will be available? They're coming daily, so just keep checking back. Um, there are already resources on the web page, and as they are getting you know updated and changed, and new ones are added, they will be popping up. Um, so those are just you want to keep checking back because you never know what you're going to find on there. And how do we get a proclamation declared? Um, Aaron, do you want to take that one? Have you all done that? You can basically with a lot of the proclamations, you go to your either county government and work with the mayors. I know that's how we do it here. We would you know talk to the mayor or um, our county you know 
administration and they would sign it it would be put in the paper um so that that's one way Erin I don't know if you have any more information around that um, I believe you can send it to your governor's office within the state. So there should be a communications individual that you would contact. Typically, you want to make sure you give them at least two weeks to a month notice to make sure that um, everything gets processed, but that would probably be your best way. Any other questions? There is one question about can they send photos of their celebrations to us? And I think that, I mean, if you have the right thing signed and the releases signed with the participants, we always love to receive those. So I'm sure that is completely welcomed, um, but make sure you have the proper paperwork about sharing their photos. And also if you are using that hashtag, that's something that we can look at and be able to see that information as well if you're posting those on social media. So make sure you use the hashtag so that way we can definitely see those celebrations as well. But yeah, if you have the proper paperwork, please share. And uh, Dr. Walker has a question about, is there a speaker's bureau? And I don't think we have a speaker's bureau, but if there's anyone in particular that you have a question about, or if someone's needing speakers, and if you're interested in speaking, you can definitely send that to me. And that way, if anybody asks, we can, we can look at that and see, you know, if that's someone that would be available. The hashtag is at senior nutrition programs, and I, I just had it. Um, Liz, can you go back to the next to the last slide? I think it was on that one. And I think we're at the end of today. It's hashtag senior nutrition program is the hashtag. So we are at the end of the program. I am going to um, we're going to go ahead and end this. And if you, if you have any further questions, please send that to me and we will definitely get your questions answered. Thank you for so much for your attendance and we'll see you again in March.